Hey guys, welcome back to Glam Finds and I'm here for my layering video. Now, I asked you guys for your recommendations and I wrote all of them down. I'm going to give everybody a shout out, but because I only remember some names and I don't want to remember some and say them and put the others on screen, I'm going to put everyone's uh, YouTube username because I don't know all of your actual names on screen and shout you guys out. Now, I didn't do everyone's recommendation because it would end up too long, so I'm going to do a layering part two and do the rest of them because I experimented with a lot of these uh, layering combos and I have to say, all of them were actually really good. Uh, as it turns out, even a bad fragrance when you layer it with another bad fragrance can end up being a good fragrance and that's awesome. So when you layer two good fragrances, which most of them were actually all good fragrances, it makes a huge difference. Now, without further ado, let's start. The first one that I wanna talk about is one that a few people recommended. Maybe not this exact combo, but something similar. So I took the fragrances that I had and I decided, hey, I've tried this before, I liked it. And as it turns out, a lot of you guys also like it. And it's going to be Armoff's Club de Nuit Intense Man and Alha Remains Amber Oud Rouge. So the red bottle. Guys, both really good fragrances on their own. When you put them together, it's a really seductive fragrance that is a little bit sweeter and more playful because of the BR540 DNA in there. Well, BR540 straight DNA. It's so good. I mean, you guys already know when you take two fragrances and put them together, it is amazing. I, I think you could honestly wear this combo pretty much anywhere. You could wear it as a club banger situation because I think both of those would kind of work out pretty well in a club because they're both pretty loud. But you could also wear this to a date night because it kind of, I mean, they're both date nighty fragrances. You could wear this anywhere. Yeah, you could literally wear this anywhere. This is really nice. Both really good fragrances. I did the EDT. Some people recommended the EDP. Some people recommended Aventus and other similar fragrance or in the same vein fragrances I should. But I thought it was a really nice combo. Um, and especially on skin and especially when you get like a smidge of heat on this. I like it. Maybe some people don't, but I do. I don't want this to be a 40 minute video, so let's move on. If you want something fresh and sweet, another combo that I actually really liked is going to be Azaro's Wanted by Night and Versace Eros Flame. You have some freshness, you have more than enough sweetness. But it smells really good. This for me would be a warm weather club banger, not high humidity, but guys, I don't, clubs out here are indoors. I mean, yeah, there's some outdoor stuff, but the outdoor stuff's normally in the city, which is pretty cold at night, no matter what time of year it is. So for me, this would be a amazing combination for like an outdoor clubbing situation or an indoor clubbing situation because you've got the freshness from the Ozara Wanted by Night, a little bit of freshness from the opening of Eros Flame, but the sweetness from both of the dry downs. It's just a really different combo. I just feel like when the freshness from one combines with the freshness of the other, it's different even though they're both basic fragrances, it changes the game a little. So if you want to have something a little bit loud, well, really loud, these are both loud fragrances but grab attention at the same time, not in the same basic way, that's an awesome combo. Wear it out. Definitely gonna be a club situation here. Next. So I have to say that this one surprised me a lot, but I'm really happy that I tried this. I wasn't going to, to be honest. I was gonna toss this combo away because I was like, oh, I think that's gonna be really weird, but it's going to be Spice Bomb Extreme and Moschino's Toy Boy. Guys, Spice Bomb Extreme is really, really nice. Everybody knows that. Toy Boy for me is fine. I don't, I don't hate or love it. I know every time I smell it, I'm like, oh, okay, it's actually pretty nice. But it's never something that I reach for. Now, when you add Spice Bomb Extreme to this fragrance, oh, it's what it was missing, and it kind of makes the Spice Bomb a little less heavy. So I feel like it makes everything more wearable. In terms of versatility, you can wear it to more places because Spice Bomb Extreme is kind of a, like a date night, you know, evening fragrance. 
if it's a little bit cold, if you wear Spice Bomb Extreme with Moschino's Toy Boy, you can wear it during the day and you're gonna smell amazing. I don't know why, but it just makes Spice Bomb more playful and it gives Toy Boy what I kind of found it to be missing, which is, you know, something to get me interested. Toy Boy is nice, but I like the bottle more than I like the fragrance, if I'm gonna be completely honest. It's just missing something for me. It could be because it was really hyped. And you guys already know when something's really hyped and you try it, you're like, it's fine. But it is, it's a really good fragrance when you add it together. If you haven't tried this, I promise you, you're not gonna be disappointed. Please try it and comment down below what you think. Out of all of these, I think it's my favorite combo and I would have never guessed that. Next. This next one makes us two Swiss Army knives together and it's gonna be Versace Dylan Blue and our Moff Club Noe Intense. EDP. Guys, this is as good as you think it is. They're both versatile. They're both Swiss Army knives. They're both fresh. They're both pretty sexy, honestly. And you mix them together and it's double all of those things. So I'm not even going to talk about this. You can literally wear it anywhere and everyone's going to love it. There's no way they won't. And if they don't, I think there's something wrong with their nose. Yeah, it's really good. It's really, really good. This is going to be a combo that I use a lot. Next. Okay guys, so if you want something formal, but not overly formal, my recommendation is going to be Versace's Eau de Noir with Parfum de Marly Layton. This is awesome because Eau de Noir for me is just too formal leaning. Adding Layton makes it a little bit more playful. So I think you can wear it for a date night and smell amazing. I think you can wear it for work and smell amazing. I think you can wear it for anything in the evening and smell amazing. This made a huge difference for me. I don't really reach for Layton that often. And I don't think that I, I, I didn't think that I would ever really reach for Oud Noir. So this combination has saved both fragrances for me. But let me actually talk about what else saved Layton for me because Layton also worked really well with Afnan's 9 p.m. or Ultramol if you have it. I don't have Ultramol because I had a not old batch and I didn't really like the performance and I thought, hey, I spent too much to, uh, to be this disappointed with performance. 9 p.m. fixes the performance problem. I liked it when I sprayed these on, but when it dried down and I caught whiffs of it later, Oh my God, it was an amazing combination. I put my sweater on when I sprayed these and when I put it in the closet and opened the closet later, the closet smelled so good. If you have these fragrances and you like something sweet and playful and a club banger and something that actually would still perform pretty well on a date night, I think it makes 9 p.m. wearable for a date night. Wear these together, it is amazing. I promise you, guys, this is real, this is guaranteed. Next. Okay, this next one is really what got me into this, and it's going to be Mercedes Club Black and Rasasi Satur Wow. This combination wows me. Where would we be as a society without any dad jokes, guys? I had to do it. You knew it. It turns it into a really spicy vanilla, but not because, you know, sometimes you're like, oh, spicy vanilla. No, really spicy. So good though, so good. So sexy and sweet without being too sweet. I like Club Black by itself and I like Wow by itself, but together they do so much better and they're so much sexier, to be completely honest. I'm all about telling the truth here. I really like it and I, uh, again, like the dry down a lot. I sprayed this when I was going to bed one night, kind of stayed up for a couple hours. When I woke up the next morning, I was like, what is that? It is amazing when you let these fragrances layer and dry down and come back like, you know, eight hours later, they smell insanely better than one fragrance by itself and they kind of keep going for longer. I don't know what it is. I don't care either, but I know it works and I love it. And next. This last combo, if you don't like sweet, you're not going to like, but I like it a lot and I'm gonna talk about it now. It's going to be one Million's Lucky by Paco Rabanne and our Moff Craze. Guys, hazelnut, almond, vanilla, plum. Oh my God. Club banger to the max. But I think you would actually do really well on a date night with this. It's a little loud, but if you can go on a date night where it's outdoors or something like that, 
Ooh, this is good. Guys, you know I've never led you in the wrong direction. When have I ever? Wear this, this is good. It's so good. It's like, it, if you don't like sweet, this is not for you. If you don't want anything too playful, this is not for you. But if you want something sweet and playful and just good and fun and you're and just you want to give off that I am the most fun vibe, this is the combination because this is the most fun. Very unisex, very unisex. If you are a lady and you you know aren't always into wearing men's uh, fragrances, you could definitely start with this combination because I think already both of them are unisex. When you add them together, they're so fun and playful and they are a good time and they're gonna make you a good time. Unless you're a bad time as a person, nothing's gonna help. But this combo is gonna try its best, I'll tell you that much. As always, thank you guys for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell to get notified when I drop videos. Maybe, sometimes, I don't know. I don't, the algorithm is off, so at least we'll try. Please drop any layering combos down below. I'm gonna maybe do a monthly version of this because this is starting to get fun. I feel like when you've been in the fragrance game for a while and you start getting bored, layering is the way to go and I'm really digging it. I'm interested. You guys have given me combos and I've worn them and I've lumped them. So let's just keep going with this. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you on the next one. Bye. And this I'll put device isn't set up yet. To get started, download the Google Home app on a phone or tablet and club bangy